Good morning, friends. I hope everybody's had a great week and uh, been inside uh, where the air conditioning was, uh, staying out of this hot weather. And uh, today I hope that everybody's had a chance to uh, be together and uh, fellowship and praise and worship our Lord and our Savior Jesus. I apologize for my voice this morning. This uh, lung disease that I've got going on is really playing havoc with making me cough all the time. And unfortunately, my voice is paying the price for it. So hopefully we can make it through this where y'all can understand everything I'm saying. But you know, one of my favorite movies of all time is called Quigley Down Under. It's a great movie. Now, some of you young guys may not have ever heard of it, but look it up and go watch it. Uh, it's a great Western and it's a great comedy. And it's even got a little bit of romance uh, stuck in there. But the good thing about it for me is it's got all kinds of really funny one-liners in it. Now, one of my favorite ones is when Quigley and a crazy lady are out on a horse in the desert uh, trying to figure out how to get out of it. Well, the lady asks Quigley, she says, do you know where we are? And he just says, no. And then she asked him, well, do you know where we're going? And he says, nope, don't know where we're going, but there ain't no sense being late getting there. And that one just makes me laugh out loud every time I hear it. But you know, all of us get lost sometimes, don't we? Thank goodness for GPS on our phones and in our cars to lead the way for us. Uh, but most of us old guys will remember back in the day that we had these big old thick books called Mapscos, uh, or big long wide fold out maps that we used to figure out how to get somewhere. When I was a kid, my dad taught me how to tell north, south, east, and west so that if I got lost, I could turn around and go back to the way I came so I could get home. Well, among many, many, many other things, our Bibles are like those GPS apps, maps goes, and road maps. It tells us our destination and how to get there. Now, the destination is obviously heaven, and how to get there is through Jesus. Uh, John, the uh, Bible tells us in John 14, 6, that no one comes to the Father in the heaven except through Jesus. Now, we live in a really lost world today where most people don't even know where their destination should be. But there's two choices. There's heaven or there's that other bad place called hell. And it's up to us as Christians to help point them in the right direction, to let them know what the two choices are and to hopefully pick heaven. Now, the Bible also tells us that when we accept Christ as our Savior, that there's rejoicing in heaven the angels are singing every time someone asks Jesus in their heart to be their Lord and Savior. And I know that that's where I'm going, and we should all be letting people know about Jesus so that they too can be in that number of God's people going to heaven. Now, the hymns I have for y'all today are when we all get to heaven and when the saints go marching in.
hope you all all have a really great week.